village of Koei in Nusa Tenggara Timur, in the far east of Indonesia. Vince recalls the days when there was water scarcity. Jadi dulunya itu tahun 90-an, jadi anak waktu anak-anak masih kecil, saya dengan bapak ini susah setengah mati karena air, karena masalah air. Karena ketika kita cari air ini sampai berkilo-kilo, jadi anak-anak saya juga jarang mandi. Jadi anak-anak saya juga kadang-kadang yang nomor tiga itu ini terkena penyakit diare. Mungkin karena kurang kebersihan, mungkin karena masalah makan minum. Today, things have changed for Vince and her family. She's a beneficiary of a project supported by UNDP and funded by the Global Environment Facility to preserve watersheds and forests through community action. The project has made life easier in Koei. Jadi untuk kondisi sekarang, memang air sudah lancar. Yang sudah dapat air itu ada yang sudah membuat ini dapur hijau, tanam tanam sayur di depan rumah. Sudah bangga karena ketika ada pesta atau ada kedukaan mereka tidak tidak susah air lagi. Iya, mereka sangat senang. Iya, sekarang sudah sehat sehat semua. Vince's youngest kid has even created a fish pond with his father's help. Koei lies in a watershed with globally significant biodiversity. Over the past decades, its inhabitants have been clearing the forest to increase agricultural land. The communities didn't make the profits they expected from agriculture. The productivity of the land was low, the water scarce, and they lacked access to markets to sell their products. Clearing forests destabilized the ecosystem of Koei's watershed and compromised clean air, water, flood control, and wildlife habitat. Instead of improving their lives, clearing the forest increased the hardship of Koei's villagers. Forest, plants, grass, birds, and deer disappeared. Today, with the support of the Global Environment Facility, villagers are rehabilitating the watershed. The quality of the water has improved, forested land has increased, and Landsat imagery has revealed that land degradation decreased. All over Nusa Tenggara Timur, Biodiversity loss is a problem. Deer, cacatuas, and parrots that could be easily seen in the wild 50 years ago can now only be seen in protected areas. Bahan itu terjadi dan sekarang mungkin perlu dilakukan satu rehabilitasi atau regenerasi kembali bagaimana dengan. To be able to protect biodiversity, forests, and watersheds, communities need to cover their basic needs. Vinche wouldn't have been able to dedicate much time to tree planting if she didn't have water. For that purpose, the project provided water pumps and pipelines and supported the villagers to engage in agroforestry and new economic activities like seeding, planting, livestock, thais making, and making honey. Challenges persist. Some households have not been reached by water pipelines, and the community is struggling to sell some of the products they produce. Yet villagers have clean water, monthly household income has increased by 700,000 rupiah, and the watershed has been reforested. Under this project, UNDP is working with the Ministry of Forestry in five other Indonesian provinces to protect forests and watersheds through community action. The total forest cover in all project sites increased 74 hectares every year since the project began. With its 17,508 islands, Indonesia is one of the 17 most biodiverse countries of the world. Although it represents only 1.3% of the Earth land surface, it hosts 11% of the world plant species, 16% of all reptile species, and 10% of its mammal species. No other country in the world has more mammal species than Indonesia. Remaining populations of iconic species, such as the Javan rhino, the orangutan, and the Sumatran tiger, depend on conservation efforts for their survival. This biodiversity is key to sustain Indonesia's economy and livelihoods of Indonesians like Vinche. Unfortunately, over the past decades, Indonesian ecosystems and biodiversity have degraded at an alarming rate. 
Since Indonesia ratified the Convention on Biological Diversity in 1994, many strategies, policies, action plans and projects have been created. However, how much is the government of Indonesia really spending to preserve the country's unique biodiversity? Are these actions effective? Has the government set the right incentives to preserve ecosystems? How much money is really needed to preserve Indonesia's biodiversity? For that purpose in 2014, with the support of UNDP, Indonesia launched Biofin, working with the Ministry of Finance, National Planning Agency, and the Ministry of Environment the program aims at revealing gaps to finance biodiversity conservation and to assess the value of the country's rich biodiversity. The program includes tracking public and private spending on biodiversity, calculating the cost of implementing national plans to preserve it, and identifying potential funders. Biofin is a program of hope to preserve one of the planet's most precious biodiversity hotspots while improving the lives of people like Vinci.